As the COVID-19 pandemic hit, a seafarers uh, found themselves on the front line of global operations, which saw them work in uncertain, difficult conditions. As the world marks the day of the seafarer, the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, gathered seamen to celebrate, but some of them had complaints, as Ungo's Ikao HAC reports. 25th June is a day set aside to celebrate seafarers around the world. Nigeria is joining the world to celebrate and appreciate seafarers for their handwork with the theme, Fair Future for Seafarers. Bashu Yusuf Jamo, the Director General of NIMASA, shares his welcome address. The last year's event took place during the thick of pandemic and the seafarers decided to sacrifice their life and well-being while everybody was at home, we were asked to remain at home. These brave ladies and gentlemen, they continued to move around the world to ensure the issue of medicine and other essentials didn't suffer. Good real messages are said in appreciation of the seafarers who work in extremely hazardous conditions. Seafarers, I congratulate you once again and wish you happy Seafarers Day. Um, you are greatly appreciated and we will as always strive very hard to do our best um, to ensure that you can all grow individually, collectively and as a nation. They are able to cater for their well-being and that of their families, especially because most of them they are out of their, their families. So, let them know that we recognize the contribution they make to the economy and we're not going to let them down. A panel set up to discuss the challenges and future of seafaring gets down to business. Oil and gas that we all use are also moved by the same seafarers. The gas that you use in cooking, when you stay at home, you use your generators, you use your power, you use the gas that you use in cooking, are all moved by seafarers. How do we attract seafarers and create a fair future for them? First of all, they must follow the, we must let them follow the pay. The pay has to be good. And um, in uh, Swan, Ship Owners Association of Nigeria, even though we have limited, we have our limitations, we do the best to try to pay them well, pay them on time. The celebration turns rowdy as Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria calls on Nimasa to take responsibility as seafarers are suffering. The seafarers are not happy. We should be frank with you, sir. Fine, the master is doing their best. I saw the minister greeting seafarer. The junior minister greeting seafarer. Sir, talk is cheap. Things later come down and the director general of NIMASA congratulates seafarers and encourages them to continue with the hard work they put in. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohai Chesi. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.